Macrosopis juliflora, commonly known as Madenge, is a drought-resistant thorny bush that is predominantly found in the arid parts of Kenya. For a long time, the plant has been criticized for its alleged harmful effects on livestock and humans. <laughs> Owing to its invasive nature, concerns have been raised over the plant's rapid encroachment on farming and grazing fields. Protopis is very invasive and now, after having established itself in uh, the other barren lands, it is slowly now going into the other areas, in the, 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 the other lands like uh, uh, pastures. Despite these perceived negative effects, the plant is indeed a blessing in disguise to the residents of the arid Tanariva County. To cope up with the situation of the drought, when they don't have food, some of them are harvesting some of the mazengas and then uh, uh, making some charcoal out of it to earn them something to buy. Due to its ability to resist drought, the plant has increased vegetation cover, hence serving as an effective windbreaker to control soil erosion and air pollution. It used to be a desert, but now when you look around, you find that there's a lot of green, there's no soil erosion. In addition, Madenge is an evergreen bush that controls climate change by soaking up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. One of the major ways of uh, fighting climate change is actually to increase uh, the forest cover. The Madenge tree is an evergreen tree, so to that effect it absorbs the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. With support from Changieni Rasilimali project, residents of Tana River have found a productive and innovative way to mitigate against climate change impacts by using madenge to make livestock and human food. They are using pods uh, to mix with other uh, livestock feeds like maize and uh, sunflower to bake cakes that can be stored and uh, given to livestock during uh, dry spells. <laughs> The project, which works closely with relevant government agencies, protects indigenous trees by encouraging charcoal burning, mainly from Madenge. They have liars to the Kenya Forest Service so that uh, licenses to produce charcoal are only issued to those that are producing charcoal from Madenge tree. Environmentally, the Prosopis Juliflora also has certain other negative impacts, which now we tend to manage by allowing only the cutting of Prosopis Juliflora for charcoal making. Government support has strengthened the engagement framework for formulation and implementation of pro-poor climate change policy and legislative measures in the country. We integrate development and response to climate change uh, with all partners that involves government ministries, the private sector, civil society and NGOs. The background of this bill was first of all to bring together the line ministries that are dealing with climate change. As it was before, because the Minister of Environment is a, is a core ministry that is marshalling issues of climate change. But there are other ministries which are very important, like the Minister of Agriculture, 
when you look at food security, uh, Ministry of Water, when you look at uh, the issues of water, Ministry of Planning, because we need to mainstream all these. When you look at Ministry of Finance, we need to establish a basket of funds that can control issues of climate change. In the midst of these gains, there are still abound challenges that require government and stakeholders' attention for lasting solutions. This calls for collective efforts by all players, the government, non-state actors and local communities in the conservation of Mother Nature for mutual gain. We'd only like to encourage the public the ministries, uh, institutions to look at the website of the ministry, come uh, look at the action plan that has been developed to uh, tackle climate change, find an entry point and let us work together. Developed countries are the ones who are responsible for what we call historical responsibility. They are responsible for 70 percent, yet their population is only 17 percent of the world. So we need them to come out and support adaptation projects in the country.